Hello YouTube land, Richard here. Wow, another hot day. I never changed the sponsors before, but you know, you can see that mine are beat up and this guy gave me a set of sponsors that he never put on that are new. I unwrapped them. Anyway, I'm gonna put them on. Um, what I'm thinking right now, I'm like, do these go through the hull? Do I gotta, you know, put silicone on them? Which I'm thinking you don't. I'm gonna have to take a look. I'm also thinking, um, should I put anti seize on it? That I don't know either. Um, but, you know, I'll take a look at it. I'm going to look inside the hull. You know, basic, basic, uh, you know, common sense tells me I don't think they would make that, you know, create four potential leaks or five, five bolts there. Anyway. Let me see what happens. I don't think I have to silicone around it. I'm going to look and see what I got on there. And let's go. I did put PB Blaster on here. Let me see. I might have to put more. I'm using a quarter inch drive. All right, here's a couple things I don't like. I see it looks like there was some sort of, you know, I don't know if we can see that. I'm in a direct sun, so hopefully you can see that. Let me see. Hmm. This camera is focusing. There you go. I don't know if that's just rust, but look at that. It's got corrosion. The guy, the original owner, was a wealthy real estate guy that had a house on the salt water. He was right on the ocean, so salt water is brutal, even on stainless steel. Long story short, you know, I'm going to use this for now, but... I'm definitely gonna order replacements because they're definitely not gonna get better. It will only be downhill. And I'm not exactly sure. It looks like some sort of sealer on there. I have a regular old anti seize I might use that for now. But I'm gonna look inside and too and make sure that, you know, if the bolt hole, you know, extends into the hull, which I don't think it is. Common sense tells me they probably molded it in there, you know, molded it around it, hopefully. You know, because think about it, you know, vibration and pounding. You know, you're only giving yourself 10 potential leaks in the future. So hopefully the designers, you know, comprehended that. I got to pull the seats off and um, having trouble finding motivation because I know you can't tell, but it's another hot, humid day. Let me see. I usually back them all at the same time, but I did break, I did break them loose. So, and they're giving me resistance. Let me get this W, this uh, PB blast here. Now, I'm not being sponsored or anything. However, I might put a link in the channel it will be an amazon associate leak um probably with these but as a mechanic you know i'm a, a lifelong you know home mechanic but what i discovered about this stuff 
is it's better than breaking the bolts loose in my opinion than WD but WD to me is a better lubricant if that makes any sense but I feel these break bolts loose faster and I know I know they didn't use the red thread sealant because those you have to heat up. And if you heat it up, obviously you would be melting stuff, especially the plastic. So they might, you know, if they used anything at all, it would be silicone or some sort of uh, anti-seize. I have anti-seize that's a million years old, but it looks like it's still good. Actually, not a million years, but I think I can honestly attest. I know I had it before 1986, <laughs> which is a long time. And I know that because that was my father's. <laughs> so obviously a jar that lasts a long time, don't it? And I'm only gonna do one side because the other side obviously will just be repetitive. Let me try and get through this. I'm trying to do this as real as possible, what you might experience. Now this thing has a hole in it. You never know if a creature, a hornet, built a nest in there. I got stung pretty bad a couple weeks ago. There's my gray boy, I mean my big boy with my good kitty. You're going in soon. Yeah, I think today is gonna to be a gym day and then the beach after this. Wow, man, what a workout in the heat, the heat. Lesson learned, do all your, if possible, if you don't have shelter, man, you gotta do everything you can in the springtime. At least where I live, because these summers are absolutely brutal here. Wow. I can't believe these things take forever to, to get out. You know, air tools or battery tools, but I did this on a whim. Oh, look at that. But it, all right here's a lesson i think right here unless there's a barrel oh okay i think this is a barrel that must be fused on here i'll find out in the next one because the second bolt don't have that barrel on it you always during disassembly you always want to pay attention to things like that like the links especially because you might have five identical bolts and the last one is a half inch shorter. And if you put it in the wrong hole and tighten it up, it could spell disaster. So there's a tip for you. <laughs> you know, you could crack a casing. I think that that drum is seized on there. Apparently they all have these little cylinders and I hope I don't have to go too crazy. Let me see. I hope I don't have to go too crazy finding them. Um, the first one is fused from the corrosion uh, to the bolt. So we'll see. And obviously 
It doesn't look like there's any silicone. I just got to double check. And, you know, you can see some rust going on there, which these are stainless steel. They all have something on the threads, some sort of thread locker. So I'm going to have to look into that. Um, in reality, I looked in the manual and I couldn't find anything that mentioned sponsons. And there's very little information on YouTube. You know, unless you're doing uh, racing sponsons, which are adjustable and, you know, they are obviously different. These are stock replacement, no room for adjustment. So, you know, these are simple things I got to find out. And then, of course, assembly will be the reverse of disassembly. So, basically, that's it. Um, I'm going to probably, you know, pause this. I'll let you know what I find out. Um, as far as the anti-seas, and I don't even know if I'm going to use that stuff because it's so old. I might get the blue thread locker. You know, we're not talking about a fortune here, so why not? Um, get some fresh stuff and you know I'm gonna plan on getting new hardware because anything that's rusting um, like you can see there are rust stains on the hull there are chemicals to get rust stains out and you got to research that I know some of them are uh, you know they have a whole bunch at the big box stores um, I'll let you know if I use anything. There's, It's not bleeding onto the hull. So at this point in time, I'm not going to stress out over it. But I am going to take some time to, you know, see about the reassembly with the bolts and uh, probably maybe coat these things with some light marine grease. And, you know, the season is already almost over. And I still got to do a water test with this. This thing better run after all it is. It runs, but I don't know exactly how well. Um, we'll find out. So, you know, obviously, like I said, installation will be reverse of disassembly. And that's what it looks like. And if you want, let me take a look and look inside the hull and see if these things go straight through. Well, that's good news. And actually, it seems like the wall in there, let me give you, come for a ride with me here. It seems like the wall inside there um, pops, bulges out, which, let me take a look here. Yeah, yeah, you can see this. Now, let me take a look outside here. Well, anyway, I'm not seeing any, any bolt holes. Let me see if I can get a light on in this thing. Probably not, but let me see. I don't see any bolt holes. And like I say, this looks like it comes in. My first thought is they might have flotation. Hopefully they do molded in there because without flotation this thing will sink like a rock and if you're holding on to it you might potentially go here's a way i could tell let me see about this too okay whoa well obviously that's not working out too good <laughs> these things don't go in far at all I'm giving it a little blast, which can't hurt. 
probably help a little bit. Even though I'm getting it on the hull, I'm going to be having this in the water. So, you know, I'll wipe it down and I'm sure whatever. Um, yeah. So, like I say, you know, any engineer that would do differently, he should be fired immediately. But, yeah, luckily it looks like that's it. Now, as a, as a golden rule, I'm sure they have torque specifications. Like I say, I did not even, uh, I did not even find anything in the manual yet on this. Let me see, Doug. And, and uh, so I have no idea. But as a, as a rule of thumb, I always finger tight or gently tighten anything until it comes into contact. And then most of the time, when you come into contact, it's usually like anywhere from a quarter turn to three quarters of a turn. And I would say safely, very rarely, you know, a full turn, but don't go by that. Like what I go by, as soon as you feel it, you're tightening a bolt and you start feeling a lot of resistance, you know, stop because you don't want to strip it out. Now, another, you know, mechanical observation because is this is plastic and uh, my gut tells me that plastic is going to flex in a little bit, which will exert a pressure on the threads, just like the lock washers that are on these bolts, I believe. You know, a lock washer, basically... You're compressing, you know, uh, a spring and that pressure on a thread. So you don't have to kill it, you know, over, you know, making it super tight, you know, just beyond snug because, you know, you have pressure, you know, against them threads, pulling it, you know, holding it tight. So hopefully you found that useful. And if you did... Hit that uh, thumbs up. There's going to be more content coming. I do have a... I did get a GoPro. I got to get that going. I want to see if I can get that going for this thing's maiden voyage. And hopefully it ain't a maiden disaster. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, yeah. So... Hit that like button. Subscribe if you like this content at all. You know, why not? And I will post links for things that I have used, uh, the lubricants, if you want to use that um, in the description. And as a disclaimer, if you use any information or duplicate any actions in this video or any of my videos, um, you do so at your own risk. And by watching this video, you agree to them terms and hold the creator harmless. Don't you hate disclaimers? I know I do. But better safe than sorry. With that being said, peace out, people. Have a great day. I believe I'm going to go hit the gym. And then I'm going to go hit the beach and enjoy this summer while it's lasting. And finish my work on this later when it's not Sahara Desert hot. And uh, finish that. And uh, hopefully I'll be getting this thing in the water soon. Peace out.